Robo Papa. Hey YouTubers, uh, Robo Papa here, and today I'm going to talk to you briefly about uh, stepper motors. Uh, so what you see over here, it's just a simple program that um, moving the stepper motor um, with all the steps and continuous um, rotation and this little piece is just to show how it's uh, rotating so let's go to the whiteboard and see basically what stepper motors are so what are stepper motors? stepper motors are DC motors that are brushless and what you will find within the stepper motors are coils that will be connected to your microcontroller uh, GPIOs and then to make a coil active you will make the pin that connects to that coil um, high that will um, send electricity through it and create a magnetic force which in turn will uh, rotate the magnet or the gear that's inside the, the motor and will because of that it will create a certain degree of revolution uh, depends on the number of steps um, it will take certain uh, amount of steps to actually complete 360 degrees so let's take an example where we have uh, four coils and we'll number them over here each coil will have its own wire that will be connected to the microcontroller like the example that I showed uh, earlier the arrow over here will represent the rotation or the, basically how the gear will rotate. So when we starting, we turning coil number one on, which creates a magnetic field over here and therefore makes the arrow point there. Um, we'll show an, an example of like half steps over here, uh, but it's similar to full steps. So half steps basically means that coil one will be on and coil two will be on as well. Well, which will basically make the arrow fight against those two. And because of that, it will point in the center. And that's basically your half step. And then to complete to a full step, you will turn off coil number one, which then will, will release this magnet or this arrow and will complete a full step and then you repeating it with two and three so when you turn those two on your mag your arrow will point over here or your magnet then to complete it you will turn off uh, coil number two which then will point on number three and then to do the half step between three and four you will turn on uh, coil number four which will point over here to complete the step you will turn off three and then you will turn on one it will be over here then you will turn off four and now you completed a full rotation as far as the coils however even though you completed a full rotation over here that doesn't mean that you completed 360 degrees because those coils are just moving the gear or the magnet with a certain amount of degrees so let's take an example of um, you know a gear that has 25 teeth in it and we'll assume for now that we actually have a full step motor which means you don't have this half step so you have four steps to complete one um, rotation of of the the coils um, so that means that we'll have 25 teeth and let's say I forgot to mention let's say that each four steps it's moving it by one teeth so we have 25 teeth times four because every four steps it will be one teeth that will be equal to basically a hundred uh, steps so in order for us to complete a full revolution we'll need a hundred steps and then if we'll take the 360 degrees that a full revolution and divide it by a hundred that means that every four steps we're actually rotating the gear by 3.6 uh, 3 degrees 
Now, what if actually that stepper motor was half a step? That means that instead of four um, steps, we actually need to take eight because we have this step and then the half of it. So we need to um, double the amount of steps. So if we'll do 25 times eight, that will be equal to um, 200. And if we'll divide the 360 by 200, we'll get 1.8 degrees, which means that each teeth will rotate by one um, 1. Um, 8 de 1.8 degrees. So that will show you basically how many steps you need to take in order to complete the full revolution. Um, some examples of stepper motors that you can find today are uh, 3D printers and CNC machines. Those are the, the most common one. Uh, you can find them also in uh, actually printers, regular printers, uh, where it moves the head to a certain position, just like with the 3D printer. So let's go to the computer and we'll go through the um, Arduino program that rotated the stepper motor. And I will show you also um, how easy it is to do the same thing with the uh, Visuino um, software. All right, here we have a small program that I downloaded from the manufacturer of the stepper motor. Uh, they created that where the stepper motor will move clockwise and then when it's done one revolution, it will do counterclockwise and then again, it repeat the same uh, pattern. Um, we are setting up the, the pins, so we're going to use 8, 9, 10, and 11. Uh, the motor speed is like how many microseconds you want to wait. If you do that too fast, then the coils will be generated too fast and the motors will not, the motor will not move. Um, we're going to do 512 steps per revolution. And this is basically tells us uh, which coil to actually initialize the, the, the first and the, the fourth and just the first, the first and the second etc. Uh, we're going through the regular and the normal setup and then for 500, the first 512 it will be clockwise the second uh, 512 it will be the counterclockwise and then when we actually got to those double um, we're going to start over and then repeat the clockwise, counterclockwise and then start again. Um, all we're doing, all they're doing over here is um, setting up the, the set output, we're sending a, the index for counterclockwise, we're starting from zero to eight and for clockwise, we'll start from seven all the way down to zero. And if you look over here, this is where we're actually deciding which coil to um, start or um, you know active. We reading the bit from that lookup of the out so for counterclockwise we'll start from zero so we'll come here and we'll take the zero um, item and then for clockwise we'll start from the seventh which will be this one over here um, and then we will continue on like that and we'll read the bit zero bit one b2 b3 so for example on this this example will say coil one is zero, coil two is zero, coil three is zero, coil four is one. So that's how it starts. And then four and three, and then just three, and then three and two, and then just two, two and one, and just one, and then four and one. So that's basically it. That's uh, how they creating it by initializing the the coils and I want you to now see a different uh, software that it's uh, the Vizuino where all you need to do is uh, drag and drop um, just components to it so here's the starting page of the Vizuino itself and we're using the Arduino uh, Uno and we'll go to the motors, stepper motors and then the four wires that's what we have 
and then after we drop that we'll be able to connect pin 0 to digital 8 digital 9 will be to pin 1 then pin 2 for 10 and then pin 11 for 3 and then we'll say that we need 512 steps um, and that will basically will be continuous um, rotation for one direction you can do the reverse of it as well and then if you have half steps or not and we do have half steps and that's basically all you need to do to actually make a stepper motor with Visuino actually rotating so if we look at the code that it's generating while well, it's loading over here Here's the code that basically the Visuino itself is generating. And you can just run it like this with no no problem. You have all the pins, connections, that we have the, the four wire step motor. And here's the connections over here. So this is, we're setting up the digital. This is where we're connecting the, the pins. How many steps per uh, second? Oops, excuse me and that's it so you can run this and it will upload to the stepper like the to the Arduino and it will run the stepper motor um, continuously so that is it that's it for today um, we basically covered the, the stepper motors and it's a big topic you can look on Wikipedia to find more information about it but uh, that's the basic idea uh, if you have any questions or any comments, uh, don't forget to leave them uh, below on the comment section. And as always, please uh, subscribe. It, it helps a lot. Thanks.